Hi, BC family. Welcome to your midweek devotion. This week, I wanted to talk about purpose, even in the pain. So on Thursday last week, Pastor Starlene talked about pain and not just pain that we self-inflict by poor choices, but the pain that comes in life that we're blindsided with, the, just that living in this natural world can bring loss, heartache, grief, that kind of pain that you didn't see coming, right? And she said something last Thursday that really struck a chord with me. She said, we have a choice, bitter versus better. And in that moment, I really just saw a crossroads that when pain comes, when life deals a blow, we have that moment, that raw moment where we have to decide, are we choosing bitter or are we choosing better? And what it really is, is a perspective shift, a paradigm shift. Are we viewing this God's way or the world's way? Are we, are we ready to, it also talks a lot about to our character. Where are we? in our development, in our character. Because what it comes down to is when life deals you that blow, you have that moment of you can either say, why me? Why God, why? Or you say, doesn't matter why, what can I learn through this God? What can you do through me in this moment and in this, and in this pain? And that's a huge perspective shift to be that kind of person. Because God's word says that he has a plan and a purpose for you. And it's for good. And it's not for evil, right? It doesn't matter why. God has a plan and a purpose for you. And no matter what, God is for you, not against you. And it's one of those things where you think, God, you're going to work everything out for my good. This may have happened to me, but God, you are working it out for my good, right? That is definitely a perspective shift, but it is choosing better over bitter by keeping that in front of you. But here's the catch to being that kind of person that's ready to say, doesn't matter why, what can, what, can I, what can I learn through this? What can you do for me through this so that I can continue on in that purpose and plan that you have for me, regardless of what I've lost and the pain that I'm in, right? And here's the catch. And it's found in Proverbs 18, 14. It says, the strong spirit of a man will sustain him, but a weak and broken one who can raise it up or who can bear it. So that's the catch. That's the question we have to ask ourselves. How is our spirit? Are we staying strong spiritually? Because sometimes you ask why the daily devotions? Why the purposeful prayer time? Why do we have to seek God every time and seek God first? It's because when you're blindsided by pain, when we're in God and we're fellowshipping with him and our spirit is strong, it said the strong spirit of a man will sustain him, then we can push through that pain and gain strength to soar and fulfill our purpose regardless of the struggle. When we carve out time every day, then we are preparing for that stretch that the day can bring. So I wanna give you a visual really quick of how you can find purpose in the pain. And it's a butterfly who's in a chrysalis and they're on their way out. So I don't know if you've ever witnessed that, but it's actually, it's a struggle. It's a struggle for the butterfly to get out of the chrysalis and it can be painful. And they're fighting and they're fighting to get out of this chrysalis. And one time this person came over and saw this butterfly struggling and thought, oh, I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna help him get there quicker. I'm gonna make it easier for him. And he helped the butterfly out of the chrysalis. But unintentionally, this person contributed to the butterfly's demise. Because the way that God made the life cycle of a butterfly is that they have to go through the struggle. They have to go through the pain because in that process of going through the struggle to get out, they're actually strengthening their wings. They need the struggle to strengthen their wings so that when they come out, their wings can fulfill the purpose to which they were called to do and allow that butterfly to soar. So in, in a spiritual sense, when pain hits us, when we're blindsided, when we decide to hurry up the process to make it easier to bear, when we choose bitter and we want to sit in our why God why or numb the pain in other ways, then just like that person, we are contributing to our own demise rather than going through the process, strengthening ourselves in God and continuing to soar in our purpose. Because remember I said earlier, God has a plan and a purpose for us. A loss, a grief, a pain that we didn't see coming doesn't change that he has that plan 
and purpose for us. So Ephesians 6 is known for the armor of God, putting on the armor of God, you know, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation. But the verse that precedes that is verse 10. And it says, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with him. Draw strength from him. That strength which his boundless might provides. That's that catch that I talked about in Proverbs. The strong spirit of a man will sustain him. Before we even get to go put on the armor of God, we are supposed to be empowering ourselves in our fellowship and our union with God. We are supposed to be strengthening ourselves day in and day out in him. Because when we do this, then we're ready for that stretch that the day may bring. So your morning might look like, God, give me the strength today to deal with whatever this day may bring because I can do all things through Christ, through you who strengthens me. And in the Amplified, it says, I'm ready for anything and everything. I'm equal to anything through you because you infuse me with inner strength. So I like this visual too. If I were to say tomorrow, I'm gonna go run a marathon. I'm just going to go do it. But I haven't put in the work. I haven't put in the time. I haven't gone through the process and the struggle to practice every day and get my shoes worn in. Then how many know the minute you start going on a marathon without any of that prep work, I love Charlotte Gamble liking this too. When you do that, you're going to, something in you is going to snap. You're going to snap a tendon or a ligament. You might even break a bone, right? It's one of those things. So when we're not in the word, jumping back into the spiritual sense. We're not seeking him daily, putting in our time and effort and fellowshipping with him. Then when the pain hits, when we're blindsided by a loss or a storm and we try to muscle through the pain, we have the potential to snap rather than to stretch, right? Our hearts and minds weren't prepared for the stretch. If I went out tomorrow and ran a marathon, my body would not be prepared for the stretch that it was gonna go through. And that's when you get that snap, right? When we choose bitter, that's that snap. When we can't, we can't see it God's way anymore because we didn't put in the prep work before the pain came. But when, but when we are in him, infusing inner strength in us, then when the pain hits, we're able to fight through the struggle, just like the butterfly, right? We're able to work through the pain in him, drawing our strength in him, so we're able to stretch and come out stronger than before. And we're able to continue on in our purpose despite the pain. That's how you get to that place of being the person that doesn't say, why God, why? But rather, doesn't matter why, what can I learn and grow through this? That's how you become that person. You spend that time with God and you put in that prep work and you're fellowshipping with him so that when the pain comes, you're able to go through it and grow through it and be infused and strengthened in him and continue on to the purpose and plan that he has. So in 1 Samuel 30 is the story of David, and he was returning from war. So just imagine ultimately how exhausted you would be coming back from war. And when he came home from war, they came home to their houses and city being burned. All the women and children had been kidnapped, including David's family. And then on top of that, all of the men that he came back with now want to kill David. They're mad because they came back to this, right? So David's having this moment of that was that was a blind side. You were blindsided by that. He didn't expect to come back from war and find devastation. But watch verse 6 in 1 Samuel 30. It says, David encouraged and strengthened himself in God. He knew how to push past the pain. He didn't go, why God, why? He went, God, I need you to strengthen me. Grow me, teach me. And he was able to stretch in that moment and push past the pain. And he was able to stretch rather than just snap because he had constantly been spending that time with God. God can turn our pain into incredible purpose. Joseph is a prime example of this. He was sold, rejected, tricked, imprisoned, but God used his pain to propel him into his purpose. Now, God did not cause his pain. That's very important. But Joseph knew how to strengthen himself in God and push through the struggle and allow God to propel him into his purpose despite all the pain that he had gone through. So last visual I have for you of our spiritual walk with God. 
So God has placed potential in each and every one of us to fulfill our purpose. God has planted a seed of potential in every one of us. Now, I love the visual of a seed because a seed, tiny little seed, has all the DNA to become a tree. It has all it needs, all the potential to become whatever tree it's supposed to be. But if that seed gets, but unless that seed gets planted, buried, watered, soil with good soil, fed, that seed could sit there in a cup its whole life. And although it has the potential inside to be an amazing tree, it won't produce anything without going through the growing process. Ephesians 3.20 says, Now to him who by the power that is at work within us is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly, far over and above all that we could dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. That verse says, the power that is at work within us. The seed of potential can just be sitting there dormant. It can't just be sitting there. No, it has to be at work in us, being fed, watered, tended to, and then God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask ask or think but it's that power has to be at work within us right psalms 23 says yea though you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death but i will fear no evil so that means yes you're gonna walk through pain it didn't say you're not going to yes you will have loss but when we are strengthening ourselves daily with him then it becomes easier to choose better over bitter when we're diving into him and tending to our seed of potential then when pain strikes we can push through to the purpose that God has. We can go through that growing process as we strengthen ourselves in him. So this week, remember, in the midst of the pain, there is still purpose. Remind yourself, God has a plan and a purpose for me. I can do all things through Christ because he strengthens me. God will work out any pain for my good. Say, God, it doesn't matter why. What matters is what can you do through me in this moment? And then do what Pastor Serlene said on Thursday. Be thankful. Start thanking God for all the things he has done and is doing. Fill your day and your week with thankfulness and joy. And you're going to be able to push through the pain and continue on to your purpose. Have a fabulous week. Bye.